guys, it's Beth Keener with The Local Lens. I'm here with Caitlin Nacon. She is nominated for the Youth Artist Award. Caitlin, how is it to be here tonight? Oh, it's tons of fun. I'm excited to see the atmosphere and just see everyone who wins. Have a good time. Yes, yes. You have had an amazing run on The Walking Dead. Yeah. Talk to me about that. Um, it's been crazy. I'm still not sure I really know what's going on, but it's definitely been a really great moment in my life, and I couldn't be happier or luckier. As far as being nominated, you've had your run on The Walking Dead. You were on Resurrection. So what has led you up to this moment? I don't know. A lot of luck and hard work, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any special speech planned? Are you calling out to mom like, hey, mom, what's up? I pretty much just wrote down like all the names that I need to remember because I'm horrible with names. So that's the main thing. And I'm just going to kind of improvise if something happens. What could possibly go wrong that you're preparing for? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pull a Jennifer Lawrence and then fall when I try to walk up the stage. Because I was like, I really need to practice walking up the stairs in my heels, but I never did it. So I was like, oh. Are you good at walking in heels? Kind of. I we shall see. Yeah, we'll find out. That's for sure. Tell me about your dress tonight. You look beautiful. Thank you. Um, I just found a skirt and a shirt at this store, this random store, and I was like, Hey, it's not that expensive. I should buy it. Well, being a young artist, you're 16. You also are a singer and a songwriter, correct? How long have you been doing that? Um, I started, I've been singing my whole life, but I started writing music around like ninth grade. So I was probably 11 or 12 around there. Yeah. So it's kind of just developed into this thing that I always do just to get out emotions and so on. What should we look forward to with Caitlin Nacon 2016? Um, should look forward to her hopefully not being dead on The Walking Dead yet. I'm hoping. I got my fingers crossed. We, we've got our fingers crossed too. What was the phone call like when you were called to be a part of The Walking Dead? Tell me about it. Um, I My dad like pulled me over to the side and we were like out somewhere and I was like, Dad, I just really want to go home. Can we please go home? And he's like, shh, just wait. And he's like, so there's a 99.9% .9 chance she got the part and I just started bawling my eyes out. I was so happy and I cried the whole way home, which is like an hour ride home. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited. Can't wait to see what happens. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. The Local Lens viewers, thank you.